Hi and welcome to the Thaumaturge. I'm sorry butchering that, but that's how I'm pronouncing it. Um, this is one of the next first demos I wanted to have a look at. Um, so let's play the demo. Thaumata is a word deriving from Greek. It means miracles. A thaumaturge or tempromancer is one able to discover secrets lingering in persons or places. They recognize flaws or stigmas imprinted on the human psyche and can bring them to the surface. Are they a doctor of souls? It is impossible to fully name the essence of a thaumaturge without being born one. Begin with the F button, guys, really. Leave the Fing button alone. For years I've been seeing you in my dreams, and lately more and more. I know it's you, but I can no longer recognize your face. I don't know if I'd recognize you if I saw you. I hope your condition hasn't worsened much since you last wrote. I can hardly imagine what a nightmare you're going through. Remember, you're not alone. I'm sure our father would be happy to help, if only you asked him. I assure you that for now, I haven't said a word to him about your search or your health, just as you requested. He doesn't know your intention, and with God as my witness, he'll not find out from me. I know, you think the only thing that can help you is a miracle. But such itinerant miracle workers, preachers, and folk mystics often take advantage of those in grave condition who are desperate or seeking help. I hope the man you're pursuing can actually ease your mind. But if not, remember that in the end, we will find a way to help you. Just because we can't see it now, does not mean it doesn't exist. Send word as soon as you get there. I want to know you are safe. With as much love as I have, Ligia. Could you spare a moment for me? I'd like to send a telegram. Of course. Pardon me, sir, but are you feeling all right? Yes, thank you. You're not looking your best. Thank you. What's your message? trick on him? I'm just gonna dictate the message. <laughs> Why? What's with the F button? Uh, 
Oh, that gives you the whole conversation if you missed anything. That's pretty cool. Yeah, let's... Take this down, please. Arrived. I think I have found him. I hope he will receive me. I will write as soon as I am able. And payment? On receipt. Anything to add at the end? Mm, send greetings to your sister. Aggravate your father. Don't... Mm, let's... Um, send greetings to the sister. If. Please add, my love to you, my sister. Touching. From whom? My name is Viktor Shulski. S-Z-U-L-S-K-I. And Viktor with a W, not a V. Interesting name. Where's this headed? Warsaw. Russia. And this is supposedly Georgia. Russia here and Russia there. Russia everywhere. On every map. <laughs> Maps change. I know, I know. Let's get on with it. Pardon? I was talking to myself. Which way to the village? The coachman is picking up the mail. Maybe he'll give you a ride. Thank you. Looney. Why is he a loony? He's a loony, loony. Find the miracle worker in the village. You've received a quest, Shadows of Sin's Past. Can move freely all the locations. Huh? Okay, first of all, if really, 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 I would rather it be anything but if. So you can't even. Uh, Change. Can't even rebind the keys. Oh, that sucks. The sound is not bad, actually, for a change. Um, overall quality. It's pretty good. It's not giving me any issues either. So I'll keep it on like that. Yeah, but yeah, I can't do something about the key bindings. Lost letter. Dear Anthony, it feels like ages have passed since you lost letter. Maybe it's just the winter that makes everything good and warm seem distant. As you can guess, the life of an exile does not spoil me. Years ago I was uprooted from your home life from my homeland and sent to a foreign land among foreign people to fight under the Russian banner and how am I today? I live among people who hate me I'm losing my house and my mind and cultivating the land that I fertilized with the blood and flesh of its sons and I can't leave here I can't stop reminiscing death seems to be my only means of escape please pray for me Constanti I don't think this letter will make it through the censorship, but if it does, please tell Anilka that the thought of her brought me solace until the very end. That is. Okay, so that, that adds. Dear Yanko, please stop with the gentry snobbery and listen to what I tell you. Times are changing. You no longer rely solely on property ownership. Peasants are different now, and it's not all clear how things will turn out in the coming years. You just have to look. Wherever you turn, you hear about revolts of peasant guerrillas going at the lords with pitchforks. We have to protect ourselves, have something on the side, some business that will allow us to live with dignity. That's why I'm telling you for the last time, go to the bank in Tiflis and take a loan against half of our assets in the Caucasus cases whatever invest in the oil business in Baku the railroad is already getting there and the world needs kerosene you need to act I will send you all the documents and authorizations don't delay any longer 
Greetings, Lou. Oh, Lou's got a good head on his shoulder. Okay, so this gives me experience, okay? So I'll keep on doing this. Find uh, other people's letters to read. Okay, that's it, it seems. Perception. As a thermoturge, you possess, possess except, bleh, exceptional perception. You can see things that are hidden from sight. You can anticipate the enemy's actions. And follow traces of emotions, thoughts, actions, and words. And you can reach your goal easier. Oh. Use perception to follow the path to your goal. It's a nice, beautiful looking game. Read. Tiflis Herald. The tragic events of August 29 have cast a shadow in the city of Tiflis, leaving it in deep mourning. Yesterday's rally, where reform proposals set out by Minister Alexander Religion were to be discussed, was brutally interrupted by Cossack troops that stormed inside the municipality board building. Armed Cossacks entered the conference room, wreaking havoc. In the turmoil, 60 people were killed and over 100 were injured. People are shocked at the at another instance of unjustified aggression against the nation of Georgia. Many believe more mass strikes are inevitable. You knew. Okay, let's speak to this person. It disappears Hello. a bit quick. Are you going to the village by any chance? Hello there. Where else? There's nowhere to go here, sir. The station, the village, and the cemetery. That's <laughs> all. A horse can't go any higher. The village is what interests me. Well, if you've got reason to be there, climb in. Where else would I be going? Um, also, there's a healer. So is it just locals living in the village? Who else would want to live in a shit hole like this? <laughs> I actually meant, is there anyone visiting, a guest? You came for some healing? Well, he's no guest here. He's been here months, my friend. The people are tormented, so he sure got folks to heal. Where might I find him? I bet he's still in the tavern. He prays this time of day. He prays a heck of a lot. You getting in or what? Okay, so thank I'd you. I'd be grateful. Always nice to have someone to shoot the breeze with. Awesome. Let's go to the room. That's beautiful. The most respected person in the village is the something wise. Something. Nothing to see around here. This is everything. Hard to get lost in this place. Head to the tavern over there past the little square up the steps. They'll tell you where that preacher's at. Well, this time of day, he'll be there himself. Thank you. Men of little words. Okay. Let's uh, scour the place for stuff. If examine. Protective charm made of strings, sticks, and feathers. It's supposed to protect the residents from the influence of evil powers. It's supposed to. Okay. Don't go up there. Okay, there's something to read over there. Proletariatis Brzola? Something? Soon the day will come when the people will throw off their hated shackles with one stroke of the mighty arm hardened by work and struggle with misery. They will get rid of the despised Tsar. 
May the recent events so agonizing for many be a torch that will kindle the flame of just revolution. It will only take a few people to raise their heads proudly and abandon their work for the flame to become an inferno that will consume the oppressor and cleanse our lands. It is already happening. Workers in major cities are preparing for action. And the country folk are also joining the fray. The hour of trials is upon us. Let us not lose heart. It goes well with the tune of Lumber Sales. Okay. I'm trying to see what else is there to read in here. I like it that, that everything disappears when. Oh wow. Let we change. Let's speak to Luca. Gentlemen, is this the tavern here? Hey, Putnik. You coming from far? Indeed, I'm tired. Nice boots. Are they warm? Really? Show no fear. Proud answer. It not only draws from your floor of pride's level, but it will also feed it even more. You look for trouble just passing through. Actually, I have particularly warm boots. Thanks. And sooner or later, it'll come back to bite them. Don't tempt me, Luca. Don't tempt me. Give me a sec. You got to sort out formalities with this tourist. Either's Nami. We're the Tsar's soldiers. And? Those don't look like soldiers' faces. Closer to thieves. I don't think he'll talk to us voluntarily. And no. You're a jerk. Okay, so we are fighting. Victory conditions. When your enemies lose all their health points, you win the fight, obviously. Enemies' health points are shown on the bars below their feet, while their health points are represented by a bar on the bottom left corner of the screen. Why your health bar? Okay. Start the fight. And let's um, start a fight and... Oh, it's cards. Quick attack. Planned attack inflicts damage. Well, that'll take him out instantly. It's slow, but I'll do it. Ow. There we go. Ow. Bring a knife fight, you jerk. Actions Q. Perception allows you to anticipate the enemy's actions. To find out what they are planning, unfold the actions queue at the top of the screen. Oh, this is interesting. Each skill has its own speed. Slower skills are more powerful but require preparation, bringing on the risk of an enemy attack first. Okay. Quick attack inflicts 5 to 6 damage. Uh, planned attack is slow and inflicts damage. Oh, no, he's got a knife. I want to kill him quickly. Ow. Okay, so now I can do a quick attack. Nice. Serves the Ruski is right. They won't repay us. Point. They'll be too embarrassed to admit some cripple got the better of them. <laughs> of course they won't. Jerks. Stay down. Come with the all showboating. Well, it's a pet. We can pet pets. <gasps> Yay. Good dog. Doesn't actually bet them, but it's cool. Can we climb this? Can we, can we climb? No, we can't. It doesn't. S <laughs> yeah, the, the F goes away well, like really quickly, but I mean, it, this is a demo, so. Maybe they will fix that. News from Yerevan. Our correspondents report that the newly appointed Governor General of the Yerevan Province, Prince Napoleon Louis Joseph Jerome, could 
grief, that's a lot of words, but apart, has just arrived in town. The highest officials were present at the welcoming ceremony, followed by a dinner with representatives for the Yerevan's most eminent families. The Governor General's address to the townspeople is expected in the next few days. Okay, so I've got a point. Let's just look at this. Ooh. The mortgage thermaturgy points. On the Grimoire's cover, there are available thermaturgy points that you can spend on the tree. Purchase skill upgrades, improve your powers with in any dimension and hunt salutes to enable further development. Oh wow, that's quite a lot of powers. This upgrade enables using perception in the dimension heart, mind, deed, word. Okay. Belongings. I've got my grimoire. I got monies. Oh, I got a pew pew. Passport. And a letter from Ligia. Protective charm. Okay, so everything that I do sits here. Shadows, sense of the past. And we have a map. Oh, wow. Okay. There's a person I need to speak to. Just want to see if there's any more letters that I can read. So everything is blocked off, so you don't wander off <laughs> like I would do. <laughs> so let's speak to this uh, preacher man. Forgive me, sir. Is your name Grigory Efimovich Rasputin? Rasputin. Okay. Interesting. Wow, he does look very much like Rasputin. I forgive you. I'm sorry. It's just I've been looking for you for a very long time, and... And you expected a thinking simpleton. An illiterate who swindles sick people and claims he can speak to God himself. I already said I forgive you. Yes, I've heard. Especially in Petersburg. I've also heard about the healings. Even hopeless cases inexplicable ones and what do you believe in so you believe in his miraculous power so you want to see it for yourself you want to see it for myself. if you help me i'll believe all of it and please believe me when i say i've tried everything short of a miracle and i know the meaning of that word i'm a thaumaturge where are you coming from um... I'm from Warsaw. So, from Russia. Poland. From which Poland? The Russian one, the German <laughs> one, or the part that belongs to Austria? From Doesn't Warsaw. <laughs> Do you have a name? Viktor Shulsky. On my path, I've already come across people who've lied to me about their problems, and then gone around calling me a charlatan. After them, Others arrived, with pitchforks and torches, and I had to endure insults and spit in my face, or flee for my life. And now you say you're a wizard from an imaginary country that no one has seen on a map in over a hundred years. Forgive my amusement, I haven't had my first coffee yet. I forgive you, and I'm still asking for help. Prove your thaumaturge, and I'll hear what you have to say. Um, yeah, I'll accept the challenge. What would you like me to do, sir? I've met a few of your kind, so I know what you're capable of. Find something in this tavern that belongs to me, and tell me something only I could know. First, I need to have something personal that belongs to you to learn your trace. It's a sort of pattern I'll use to recognize the other objects. Smell this. Smell this. Okay. Prayer beads. Time worn prayer beads with thirty wooden knots. The zeal gushing from the beads 
Impregnates the wool better than the tallow from the owner's strong fingers. The object pulses with a mixture of blue rapture. Purple passion and graphite fierceness. Wow, the description. It's beautiful. The touch of the beach burns, but it also attracts. Interesting. Draw conclusion. Rasputin's wish. Rasputin has a magnetic seal and passion. He is a man with an attractive personality, strong and fierce, who is easy to follow. One just has to be careful not to get burned by the flame of its ardor. Okay, I've got everything I need. I'll return to you in a moment. I can hardly wait. Okay, observations. Uh, are information that you acquire by interacting with people and items. Observations make up conclusions, a valuable source of knowledge about the world and events that can help you in different situations. Thaumaturgists possess perception, which allows them to read other people. We've already read the traces. On some items, you will find a trace of someone's personality. It takes one of three forms. I know. You see it for the first time, familiar, you have seen it before, but you're not certain who it belongs to, and certain you know exactly who left it. Traces are only revealed once you pass the te test of perception on them. Okay. Let's take a look around. Okay. Salmon. No luck. Trace unknown. Okay. So it says we. What's it going up there for? something there. It vibrates with a languishing moan of delight, the touch of silk, the scent of cordy, courtly powder. But that which is soft and warm is also pierced by the thorns of impending separation and long. Prayer book. Oh, that's definitely this one. Continue. With Budin's passion. That's his book. Yeah, who does thunk? Tell Rasputin what you found. Okay, so I'm not picking it up. But the F goes away a little bit too quick. What have you learned, wizard? Well, you're a zealous man. It permeates every level of your personality, your faith, your abilities. Not such an impressive discovery. I haven't finished yet. In Petersburg, he left behind a very devoted and very young lady-in-waiting. At least one, my friend. <laughs> Have a seat. Tell me again, why were you looking for me? <sighs> a few years ago, I attempted to catch a wild salutor, and that ended with me losing contact with my first salutor. That means I can't develop my abilities. I know that my Uber is there. Sometimes he shows himself, but I can't feel the link anymore. Generally speaking, I'm losing it more and more each day. If it disappears, my mind... I'll lose my sense of reality. I'll fall into madness. I don't know if I can help you. I 
I've got money, if that's what matters. Give it to the needy. Your riches mean nothing to me. I meant I don't know if I'm able to help you. My gift is something I've received from God. Some I've helped, others I can't say. And I've never treated a thaumaturge. Maybe just do the same with me as with the others. We can try. Focus on my voice. You are safe. As long as you can hear my voice, you are safe. Let me gaze into your mind. Let me see through your eyes. Let me in. Where am I? Rasputin, there's no one here. Find the way. Oh, my thaumaturge doesn't work. It's a burnt building. What the heck? This is really beautiful. Oh, I can zoom in too. It's a very interesting game. You're blind. It's very different. You've never grasped the science of spotting the perfectly obvious. Can you still not see? What do I supposedly not see? Flaw clouds your vision. It always has. Pride. Your damned pride and sense of superiority. I must have gotten that from you, father. You lose, idiot. You always do. You're even losing against yourself. You can't see, but can you at least hear? You're weak, stupid, and blind. Father, clearly. Will you be lying there much longer? I wanted to sweep. <laughs> Hilarious. Why would you sweep the mattress? Where's Take. Rasputin? In the cemetery. Chasing away evil spirits and giving people comfort. You all right? Yes, yes. Absolutely. I wanted to sweep. I'm just heading out. Could have swept like you didn't need me to wake ah, up, did it's you? It's so good to see you again. And something else. I saw him clear as day. It wasn't a vision. It was a salutar, unbound by a pact. A wild one. And if so, that means there's someone in the village with a flaw that's attracting it. You talking to me? No. I was praying. I wanted to sweep. Oh my goodness. Then get a broom and sweep. <laughs> Does it let me spin my points? Because it doesn't it doesn't look like it's going to tell me how to spin them. Sixty percent of dealing double damage, upgrade dimensions are hard. Restores focus. Thief of thought. 
fortune. Okay, this is a good one. I'm going to do that one and this one. Then Add all my points. Because I, I do want to get there. So we can connect to all these thermoturge, these, what's it called? Uper, Uper, whatever, that thing. Upgrade, oh, upgrades. Each skill can be upgraded. Place the upgrade in the designated spot in the skill icon. Each upgrade takes some space. Oh, okay. Oh, so we've got our cards here. Gamble. Okay. So I can put that. Fortune. How do I place it there? Many people have flaws, but only a thermoturge are aware of their existence. These are blemishes on a person's flaws pride. If you nurture it by making the right choices, it will impact the course of events in the future. Because I haven't acquired, I've only got pride. So that's a flaw. Okay. I'm not sure how how this works. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure. I also don't see where my points are. No, no, I had points. Anyway. Um, let's go outside. Quests have multiple objectives. Really switch for the ones you like to track. After switching, the objective will read a path to follow. Sometimes this path is so mysterious that it eludes even experienced thermoturge. No worries, the remaining objectives will provide a way to solve the quest. Yuki Yuki. I'm still looking for letters and stuff to read so I can create points. Interesting. Oh, it turns. This is a really pretty place. I felt something. Where is it? Dead goose. From the goose's twisted neck flows the anger and passion of the person who slaughtered the poor bird. Wave of emotion carries no desire for meat or feathers, only the sour taste of envy and the desire for all of Bogdan's property to go to hell. Okay. 
Talking to him. Over yeah, my dead body, about. I reject this verdict. Well, I expected as much, and he wanted to come see you himself. He was first to judge. I said what I said, and I won't change my mind. Go away, you're attracting gawkers. Not gawkers, a witness. And let him listen. He'll see it fairly. Sir, this liar and thief here. Stole the memento of my mother, and this witch says I'm supposed to hand my goose over to him, too. Because you strangled mine. And what do I care about some trinkets your mother left you? Because we already know you strangled the goose, but you still haven't proved that Bogdan stole your pendant. Where is the justice here? Conflicted neighbors. A dead goose lies between the quarreling peasants. An obvious bone of contention here. If the wise woman is to settle the dispute, she'd better do it quickly. It would come fisticuffs in a moment. Oh. It seems that the neighbors quarreled over a goose strangled in an act of revenge. A classic of the genre. <laughs> Um, let's do that one. Why don't you relax and listen to the words of a wise woman? Oh, wow. Well, all in all, it's, uh, I'm sorry, Bogdan. Come inside and tell me what you're doing here. Just like that? Demanding lady. Oh, wow, they gave me a lot of XP. Let's examine that. Salt on the doorstep protects the unwanted visitors and other misfortunes. Let's see if there's anything else. Nothing. We're just sniffing around for. XP woman for XP. Diary of an Oblate Priest. They say that every nation has its demons, its phantoms, ghosts, and nightmares were created to make a naughty children behave. But I have gone halfway around the world preaching the word of God and learned the truth. These are demon, fiends, and devils cursed by God uh, are real. And they are everywhere. In distant Sermia, people whispered the name Bukovak, a cruel beast whose presence brings wrath and commands people to inflict violence on their neighbors. A fairy tale, you say? But I've seen Bukovak here in Piatigorsk. I heard the rattle of his chains and I felt his fangs dig into my neck, tugging at my every fiber of my soul. And I felt the fury that this wraith brings with it, the anger from which there is no, no escape. The taste of blood in my mouth that no prayer can erase. May the holy walls of the blade church stop this beast. Blessed Virgin, keep me safe. Some more to read. Unfinished letter. So, so. My dear son, my heart is crying. I've harmed you so that you write about me like this. That you renounce your legacy, your land, and your blood. I never said a word to you when you refused to farm with us, nor when you went to Tiflis to study. And now you're calling us stupid, backward. You repeat after the rector of yours, Kazutieki, that Georgian, your language, is the language of dogs, and you want to write to me only in Russian. Child, Georgia flows in your blood. She is the salt in your tears and the glue in your bones. You will not renounce her. You can't. Oh boy. Okay. Nothing else? Okay, let's talk to her. The villagers seem to have a certain respect for you, ma'am, so I wanted to ask your help with something. 
I'm not getting any younger, boy. Talk before I drop dead. That's hilarious. Um, something continues to elude you. Keep searching. Accused of taking advantage of the superstitious villages. Something continues. Mm. So there's two things that I didn't find. Well then, I hope you'll still be alive when I get back. <laughs> So I don't have all the stuff to speak to. Find the person with the floor that the wild senator is seeking. Find Rasputin. So I can't go that way. What do we have here? What do we? What do we have? Gawk, but without lifting a finger. Just Vesna will bring it. Vesna will help. But if Vesna needs help with something. There's nobody to be found. Hmm. That's not yours, don't touch! All these newcomers causing more problems. Oh, jerk. It's no wonder nobody wants to help you. You rude. Dropped apple, a bruised crimson apple. Vesna was trembling, dropped a food basket and left this orphan behind. Vesna has left her distinct trace on a fruit. It consists of a heart fluttering in panic and her throat painfully clenched. Bite of this apple with taste of pure fear. Ew. This person? Oh, this this guy just goes back to the book. Can I ride a horse? No, oh, I can walk through him. Okay, so that's the end of the road, basically. He said there's only three places to go in this town. Okay, that makes sense now. Excuse me. I mean, I yeah. need to get to the local cemetery. Could you give me a lift? I've only just come back from the post office this morning. I'm not getting the horse going again. Back to the cemetery? It's not like anyone there is going to run away. Look, my horse is more dead than alive. Okay, but it, it's still eluding me. I'll be right back. So there's something I need to persuade him. Using the Thomagy, you can manipulate other people. First, you must know a person's secrets, which you can learn by making conclusions. If the manipulation is available, the character will change. Okay. Huh. A 
There we go. Shovel still showed traces of mud and ice. The coachman had to free the wagon's wheels from the soft soil that had engulfed them. Okay. Um. Ghostman used the rag to wipe the sweat from his forehead. The rag reeked with the sour odor of fatigue. Attempts to free the wheels from the soft soil made the spine crack like a fishbone. And the muscles burn with fire, and no one would help. Such, such was his job, such was his fate. Oh, now we can draw a conclusion. Coachman is tired and weary, he's worked hard and unloading wagon alone. And all the dreams of his... Of is a moment of rest. I can relieve his suffering. Okay. I'm not going anywhere. Now I've got to make the coachman's fatigue go away. Maybe you'll change your mind and drop me off at the cemetery after all. Hmm? Well, on the other hand, this place isn't much more exciting than the cemetery. I meant to take the horse out for a run, so get on. It's a very interesting game, and I'm really quite enjoying this. Oh, there's something here. Get a wagon. Okay, let's go and uh, speak to Rasputin. Let's just walk around the... if we can find anything. Elder Vasily's grave. Elder Vasily died only a year ago and his tombstone has clearly already been damaged. Why? Hmm. Okay. You're alive. Does that mean I helped, Thamaturge? Sure to answer. Just thank you for his, for his help. Yeah. I don't have enough words, sir, to thank you for what you've done for me. I haven't felt this way in years. I'm glad I could help. When I heard you were at the cemetery, I was sure I'd see you resurrecting the dead. Not yet. Today I'm just praying for rest for Vasily's soul. The whole village is suffering after his loss. He was the elder here. He cursed this place. Since he died, darkness and misfortune have hung over the village. Mm. You see, to them, every harm comes down to witchcraft. They believe that after Vasily's passing, the village was possessed by some monster that howls at night or some other yuffiets. So that might be the do the thing that he saw in his vision. Locals say that since a death, okay, things are not looking good. They might be right. Yep. As you were healing me, I had a dream, a vision. But on the borderline of sleep and wakefulness, I thought I saw a salutor. That's what might be influencing the villagers in wailing at night. They're good people, but none too bright, Victor. I'm afraid they might be talking of a train. The wise woman was saying the evil spirit is a book of hatch. Book of hatch. That's Does the how creature you haunting it? you rattle chains, slither around, and have a mouth full of giant fangs? A book of hatch. Where did the Zelda live? I'll show you. 
Let's allow Vasily's soul to rest for today. Amen. Okay. A woman in the cemetery came to the village is haunted by a lich. Look at that. So I can't touch this yet because I don't have, I'm not strong enough. Oh, so now I've got places to go. Let's travel to the homestead. I'm entering this curse land one my turn to the right three times or something. a little bit quick I couldn't read what that said can you feel it is the smell of mystery door frame a destroyed door frame by some miracle it survived the fire thick lines of the wood grain are visible in the frame they arrange itself into words carved sharply as if they by chisel we scream about an attempt to break down the door, but the hinge is finally letting go. They scream into a space that doesn't respond. Fear has embedded itself deep into the fabric of the door frame. Fear of the flames and the trepidation about losing a loved one. Place of death. I don't know why it's auto walking right now. A dried blood stain. It has soaked deep into the burned boards of the house. The blood sounds like suffering. Flowed quickly. The wound inflicted with the scissors one wasn't large, but it was accurate. Life left the body, the heart went into a spasm, and the mind recognized the end. Lost it for some time, and then the flames came, and the pain resounded anew. You see, he was murdered before he was... Okay, I don't know what I pressed. I'm auto-walking, and that's quite annoying. doesn't tell me what the keys are yeah we should do the key bindings here so I can see what the hell I'm doing What do you expect to find in this place? The fire was almost a year ago. Uh, time doesn't matter much here. I'm looking for clues and personal traces that will lead me to whoever is carrying the floor that lured the Salutar here. I see. I thought I could be helpful to you, but... I don't really understand what you're telling me. Explain Above it all, flaws are deeply hidden marks left on human souls. They form under the influence of tragic events. What does that have to do with salutors? Is that Latin? Yes, from the word newcomer. People have always taken salutors to be spirits, demons, or imps. Like from those fairy tales, the wise woman and the other old crones tell the locals. Sometimes. Those sorts of fairy tales and legends describe how humans perceive a salutor. They don't take a physical form. Salutors are attracted to the flaws hidden within people. Thaumaturges discover these flaws inside someone, bring them to the surface, 
and adopt them to lure the Salutor. Those are the moments when I've usually failed. I haven't been able to hold on to a Salutor. I didn't know how to bind one to myself. What about you? Do you have a flaw? Mm -hmm. I bear the flaw of pride. I wouldn't have guessed. <laughs> and now? Thanks to your help, I can once again discover people's flaws and the salutors hiding behind them. And I think I'm now able to catch my second salutor. Okay. Um... Why did you want to come here with me? I have never gotten to know Ethometers so closely. I'd like to learn as much as possible about your abilities. Okay. People always leave behind individual bits of their personality, even on everyday objects and such. I can decipher the thoughts and actions imprinted on these objects, and then match them to their owner. This lets me gather immense knowledge about a person. Especially if I need to find someone. What else can you do? If I do manage to catch another Salutor, that would be a very rare occurrence, in fact. An ordinary Thaumaturge wouldn't even try more than once. Only a few have multiple Salutors. Why? Some have lost their lives trying, others their senses. I was close to madness. I lost my sense of reality. I didn't know what was true. But I know I can do it. I'm almost a hundred percent sure. Isn't this exactly the sort of thinking that caused your problems that led you to me? That doesn't matter anymore. Then what's changed? This time, I've got you with me. I need to look around this place a little more. I won't stop you. Alrighty. So there's there's two things there. So see this was silly bone. Let's see, I saw something in the back here. Yeah. A charred ragdoll appears to be Honestly, don't read that now. Got a sworn I saw a, a person in the background when I spoke to Rasputin. was always full of fear and its owner was still alive when the house caught fire someone wanted to kill him the fire only covered up the crime the murder gave birth to the floor that you attached to didn't it i'll find you when i track down the murderer I know who owns this doll. Maybe I should give them back to her. She ought to know more about what happened here. Interesting. The same trace can be left on the rag doll and an item dropped by the woman face now. Hmm. Vesna smells of fear, her nerves are badly strained. Victor! I hope you've got what you want now, Thaumaturge. Because I think it's time to get out of here. Oh boy, here comes a fight. Why the hurry, father? 
We are the Tsars, man. How about the donation for the Tsars army? There are no Russian outposts yeah. here. I think this is the guy with the nice boots. You're the guy yeah, who trashed our comrades? Kick your boot at booties too. So it wasn't you? And I'll feed my floor though. I don't want to do that. No, no to say. it must have been someone who looked like me. Touch not on. Doesn't matter. At worst, we'll get the boots of your corpse. Okay. Fight is. There's somewhere else you have to get my boot out of. <laughs> yeah, your buds, buddy's butts. <laughs> um, it improves. Yeah, let's improve first. Um, stores focus. Do we want to do this? Maximum possible damage. Oh, yeah. Yes, please. Upgrades available. Honestly, I don't know how this works. Okay. Uh, let's... Oh, these guys are, are kind of hectic. Strong attacks and focus. In order to launch a strong attack against an enemy, you must take away all their focus, causing them to enter the breakdown stage. Strong attacks are much more powerful than other skills and allow the fight to end quicker. Goody. Concussion. Yes, it's concussed this guy. I can't concuss him. Dang it. I can't do a strong attack yet. He's not on the breakdown stage. Reduces. Okay, let's go with that one. Um, blood pins. So slow. Oh, so we both attack him. points. I'm still gonna die. Let's 
strong attack oh a strong attack opportunity the enemy has lost all their focus there's no breakdown state now i can do breakdown yes nice when i gain some health that's awesome reduces their focus so it reduces their focus not my focus and it heals me awesome now i can concuss him out of this world restores your health yes Me? Yes, but can these salutors also help you in a fight? Can you manipulate people and cast these demons into their minds? Generally speaking, yes. Are you sure you're right, sir? Call me Grigori. Let's head back. I have to visit someone in the village who can tell me more about what happened here. Nice. Okay, so I have a point to spend. Got a point. Okay, so that just tells me my my thing has been restored. Restores focus. Um, Oh, if I want to go... Yeah, this game was not, um, clearly, not designed for mouse and keyboard as much as it is for, uh, controller. can see that because of the use of the damn F key. E people, it's E. Get it right, please. F button is too damn far away. Am I sensing... I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. I'm telling you, go away or I'll call for help. Help! Help! Somebody help me! What are you doing here, you tramp? I'm not looking for trouble. I just wanted to talk. We'll talk, all right. Well, straight into another fight. Okay. Uh, let's make you lose focus because you're 36. You could say that. Sure. <laughs> the 
village residents. If thinking interferes with their actions, so much the worse for thinking. The locals are impetuous, irritable, and eager to pick a fight for even the most trivial reason. Something is not right. Okay. Now let's go speak to this stupid woman. I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. Really? Do we have to go through this again? Please, please. Please, please. No. Something here. A wooden box, a hand carved, and then to the rescue. What? Oh, Luca. It was he who rescued Face now from the fire, risking his own life. Ooh. I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. Please, please. Please, please. It's not giving me any dialogue options. So I don't need no, do, do I need to find Luca? G mean So I need dimension force to go to his grave. Burnt homestead. Trace certain Luca. So Vesna killed him and Luca saved her. I need to upgrade this in order to go to the grave. A 
still have no idea how this stuff works. It's a um, not easy to understand. So you can change clothing as well. That's pretty cool. Uncovered secret, uncovered secret. Talk to Vesna. If only she wants to talk to me. I don't know what to talk to, what to do here. I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. Please, please. Please, please. It's not giving me a, a dialogue option. Feeding Luca as a violent man, but he has sincere love for Vesna. Quarrels are one thing, but the would be never commit violence against her, as evidenced by the words written on the shaft of the axe. <laughs> Broken shards of a blue ceramic dish. Trembles with anger and frustration. Now we can draw a conclusion. The frenzy lasted until all involved were out of breath. Okay. Domestic squabbles. In this house lives a married couple. Do not mince their words. They argue violently loudly until they are out of breath. But they persist together despite everything. <laughs> Can I talk to her now? Now I can talk to her. Now I know that woman's trace. Vesna and her husband both left traces of themselves at the Vasili's burned out farmstead. Luca sincerely loves his wife. You think he loves her strongly enough to kill for her? You're right. It'd be better to ask Vesna about that. Now I can talk to her. I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. Please open the door. I I'd like to have a chat about your husband. You'd better not be here when he gets back. He's not as talkative or polite as I am. It's a beautiful door. Vesna about Luca, it's clear that this is not the first time Vesna has threatened someone with her husband. Luca must not have the best reputation in the village. <laughs> Residents see Luca as a sullen troll and remove clues, however he seems to have a soft spot. Luca was at Vasili's house on the night the murder and fire took place. I know you're scared, but please just open the door a crack and let me ask one quick question. What do you want? Okay, calm her down and make her feel safe. Give her a little doll you fired. Quite the knowledge or context required to give a response. Let me want to calm it down first. Please, don't be afraid. I just need to know where I can find your husband. He's chopping wood in the clearing by the forest. Okay. 
Okay. That gave me a ton of experience. So I can't speak to it anymore. Darn it. Again? Again. This time it's a matter of life and death. <laughs> How is your search going? Almost finished. I know who's attracting the Bukavach. Can you reveal that secret? It's Luca. It has to be Luca. Do you still want to catch that salutor? Yes, absolutely. Despite the risk? I hope I can persuade you to come with me. That's an enormous favor you're asking me. I hope you'll be able to return it. I give my word. Did you hear? We're going to see Luca Bogosian. Hey, let's go and uh, see what's what over here. Oh boy. I'm not here to fight. Luca! You shouldn't have threatened my wife. Why did you do this? I don't know what you're talking about. You're the one who brought the Salutor here. The spirit that you all say arrived in the village after Vasily's death. The Salitar is what's making fear consume you all and making you hot-headed. And it's because of your flaw which has been within you since the murder took place. A murder might just be about to take place. Cut off his head. What? what? Tear off his head oh. before he opens his mouth again. Ah, oh, she's got the thing. Unless... You're the one that killed him. Yeah, it was scissors. Of course it was her. And I'd do it again if I could. Ooh. Get out of here! Here you are, the Ukavaj. Vesna's flaw is mine, and you are mine. That is quite a mistake. Fighting wild salutors. To defeat a wild salutor, you must get rid of the shadows that protect him. Vanquish the shadows will weaken him, but the weaker he is, the more fiercely he will fight back. The bard tells you when the wild salutor sends more enemies against you. Oh, he's huge! Holy cow! Uh, I wish this uh, kind of told you a little bit more of the what it does. Uh, it's kind of vague. Increases damage from the by fifty percent. That seems like a good idea. Okay, I guess we're starting the fight. It's like amazing. Okay, let's make him reduce focus. Bloody.
do more? Oh my, and I'm at seven health. Hmm. I might not make this. That heals me. Oh, he does a lot of damn damage. Damn damage. I don't know how to uh, heal because uh, these this other guy attacks me. Oh, I am healed. Closer. <laughs> mm. Okay, what gives us more health? <laughs> Makes you lose focus and taking damage.
Yeah, I still don't know how that works, anyways. That, 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 that makes sense. Oh, that does not look at where the hell did my stuff just go? I don't understand. I just lose like a shit ton of health. just <laughs> what the hell was that I, mean, I did see I was poisoned but didn't I just do the remove all effects thing? So he poisons me, so what's that effect? Okay. So I need to keep an eye on what those things are at the bottom. Because I think that's what kills me more than anything. I can concuss him. That's 
much better. Then he poisons us. Yes, we won. Nice. You lose, you lose, you lose. You're going crazy again, you blind fool. A little faith, Thaumaturge. Focus on what's true. My voice is true. I am the truth, you see. Look. You defeat the Book of Arch, the dead dimension Salutor, but you cannot tame him on your own. Sputin comes to your help. The untamed Salutor won't obey your orders, stop you from developing and weaken your perception. Fortunately, Rasputin soothed his anger. You achieved the unachievable. Nice. Unbelievable. How do you feel? Are you alright? Well, I don't think I'm hallucinating, but that means I'm currently facing a crowd of furious lumberjacks with axes, so... I'd say I've been better. <laughs> what? What? I'm telling the truth. I'd do it again. None of you understand anything. It's because of this magician. It's his fault. The magician didn't kill Vasily. He didn't bring the evil here. You're a witch! To the stake with her! To the stake! And you, why are you just standing there? Are you just letting them do this? Fine, I'll handle it myself. I did it before and I can do it now. What, what have you done? Go, you don't need to see this. <sighs> oh dear. Think, Luca. Your feelings for Vesna are still true, I know that. Hear out her reasons before you do anything. Okay. You two better not come back to the village! As if we wanted to. Well, she must have had her reasons. I wish I had given her the doll, because then I would have learned her reasons. Send a telegram to the railway. At the railway, I mean. No. I was talking to this guy. Excuse me, sir. Do you happen to know when the train arrives? The postmaster said it's usually no more than an hour late, so it should be here any moment. I got a tougher question for you. No, pardon? Will this train get me close to Albuquerque? I'm afraid that's a notion away. 
And even to the ocean, you've got a ways to go. Thank you. Ever since I took a wrong turn at Albuquerque, I can't get my bearings. The things I've seen, sir, places I've been, I just can't get to Albuquerque. Yeah, you're a little lost, I'd say. Just a little bit. I wanted to send two telegrams, one to Warsaw and one to Paris. Mr. Shulsky, I was meant to send for you when the driver came to get the mail. My condolences about your father. Ooh. You imagine not having any privacy when you send messages? Hey, we don't. Do you still want to send something? <sighs> Did you come to say goodbye to me? More like to share my fear. Your condition yesterday, after the fight with that... Bukovac, it troubled me. I don't think my treatments are having a long-lasting effect. And you don't look the best. Do you feel all right? Mm -hmm. yeah, tell me about the I just heard that my father is dead. My condolences. After your treatment, when I was hallucinating, I saw him. I heard his voice for the first time in years. I'm sure it was him. A strange feeling. Maybe he came to say goodbye. Maybe it was his last chance to speak to you. A prophecy. I hope not. What do you intend to do now? I'm not sure. So you've just had to change your plans. We're gonna go. I have to bury my father yeah. in Warsaw. Hmm. What about you? Thanks to you, I don't think I have anything else to do here. <laughs> I had a little time to think about what I saw in your mind. Tell me, Victor. Have you ever seen a human skull cracked open on the cobblestones? Your question sounded like a threat. Because it is for all of us. I have the skull of Franz Ferdinand himself, with his brain spilling out onto the sidewalk. I also saw the white steps in Odessa running with blood, a battlefield blanketed in lethal fog, with faceless beings emerging from it. This hasn't happened yet, but I saw it as clearly as I see you now. Thanks to you, I know that I can stop it. I know that I am part of history, and I can change it. Even at the cost of scorn, contempt, or my life. You promised me a favor, so Warsaw sounds perfect. I must say, I do love Rasputin's coat. Absolutely gorgeous. Off to Warsaw we go. I'm really enjoying this game, as dark and as somber as it is. It is absolutely gorgeous. So if you enjoyed that, don't forget to hit the like button. And there is a link down below to the Steam page. If you want to go add it to your wish list. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's a little laggy right now.
mistake, we're having another vision. Last stop, Warsaw. Time to wake up. It's clouding over. The weather is like my mood. Aside from the circumstances of the funeral bringing you back, you hadn't thought of ever returning here? I definitely didn't expect I'd be coming to my father's funeral so early. I'd noticed you two had certain differences in your views on life. Yes, especially on my life. But admittedly, that's not a very exciting discovery. Is that all you've learned about me on our journey? You drool in your sleep. <laughs> Anything in there about Warsaw? Um... Workers are striking. They want to take advantage of the Tsar's visit to Orsay. The protests are being violently suppressed. Last week, around a dozen people were killed. Polish Socialist Party militants attacked a train. They stole money, bonds, and explosive materials. They're also suspected of robbing a transport of... Dutch Pommy? The Socialists in Warsaw must look pretty sharp, then. <laughs> Further along, we've got murders, muggings, and poverty. The newspapers feed on sensation. Remember that in darkness, even a small spark can be seen clearly. Even I can feel hope from all the people riding with us. Can't you? Even without my powers, I can tell that hope is bringing people here from all three partitions. Miners, steel workers, governesses, maids, speculators, thieves. I've forgotten to read a few of our fellow passengers' possessions, and I know that hope can have many faces. Will you share that knowledge with me? There's a terrified woman riding with us. She's either running away or in hiding. I think that gentleman is smuggling something because excitement is all mixed up with guilt inside him. And this dandy, he's going whoring. <laughs> if there's something I've learned in life, Victor, it's never to neglect the whores. Orso, end of the line. Welcome to Varsava. I think the time's come to ask where you plan to stay. I'll let you know when I come up with something. Been inviting him to stay with us. Dear Victor, a feeling of deja vu washed over me upon receiving your last telegram. Yet again, you're off traveling to some distant lands while I stay here nursing the hope you will one day visit us in Warsaw. I miss the old days when things seemed so simple. Even if we already knew back then, we may never be truly free. I long for the chance to show you how much our city has changed. To let you hear all these different languages that now echo down the streets we once aimlessly wander together. Yet all that is mere fantasy. The past is gone, never to return, it seems. Just like you, my dear brother, who risks his life in search of otherworldly beings and their hosts.
Sometimes I think it is for the best that I do not share this gift with you and Papa. Maybe that's why I can see things more clearly, just as they are. Therefore, I beg you, Victor, come back to us and reconcile with your father. You never know when it will be too late. Affectionately, your sister, Ligia. Ligia. And that is it for Omoturge. Thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell if you want to know when I post another video or go live. And until then, have a wonderful evening, afternoon or morning, wherever you are. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.